Only the dead reek like this. The fallen star is near. I have journeyed here to find the Fallen Star, and purge its evil from this land. It fell on the old cathedral. There was only one survivor, Leah. You should speak with her. Captain Rumford, more dead are coming. We can't open the gates until we drive them back. They keep coming! <laughs> I've never seen anyone fight like that before. Guards, open the gates! You'll find Leah at the Slaughtered Calf Inn. Burn those corpses before they rise again. Zakarum has fallen to disgrace. What faith? May the gods who abandoned us come to your aid one last time. Found some interesting things on my latest dig. You should take a look. Miss Marco, I'd protect him, but now he's dead. Don't you dare lift up the dead, rising from their graves. This must be the end. Your cart is blocking the way. Move it. How dare you speak to me like that? I am the mayor of this town. Then you should be out there fighting. Are you mad? This town is doomed. Anyone with a grain of sense should be trying to get out. Will you help me or not? No. You deserve whatever dark fate comes to you. Tristram used to be such a wonderful place to live. My family has been here since the town grew out of the ruins of old Tristram. But now, it's horrible. The loved ones we've buried and grieved over now threaten our lives. Leah, is it? Rumford said that you survived the Fallen Star's impact. I did, but it blasted my uncle Deckard Kane into the depths of the old cathedral. I tried to search for him. But the dead were already rising. I came back here to rally the militia, but th Watch out! The wounded are turning! All satisfied. This is killing business.
The dead will overwhelm us all, unless something is done. Then I shall put an end to them and secure your town. Thank you. You should speak with Captain Rumford at the gate. He can tell you what to do. We've been under siege for six days now. Uncle Deckard is still missing. Captain Rumford and the others are losing hope. I tell them not to lose faith. But if help doesn't arrive soon... Sixteen militiamen went out. Only Rumford came back. What can I do to help fight the Risen Dead? I admire your courage, but Captain Dalton and the Militia were slaughtered by those things. Only I survived. Don't worry. I will avenge their deaths. Well, I have seen you fight. Strike at the wretched mothers and their queen. They're the ones vomiting out these horrors. They're attacking the barricades! <laughs> Not enough hatred. That's one of the wretched mothers. There are more of them in the ruins down the road. I, Deckard Cain, have spent many years traveling and writing about the strange creatures in our world. But the sight of the wretched mothers still haunts me. They are the remnants of Queen Asilla's slaughtered handmaidens who were twisted by foul magic. Now they feast upon cadavers and regurgitate them as newly formed risen dead. Never forget the first time I saw these horrors shambling out of the misty woods. Our loved ones, buried long ago, rose from their graves and began to attack the living. However, the risen dead were only the beginning. Dear reader, I am Abdal Hazir, adventurer, scholar, and researcher. I share my knowledge of this incredible world and its creatures through my insightful missives, often at grave risk to myself. Why, I was recently in Kanduras, where my tents were ransacked by vicious quill fiends. I was able to beat them off with a shoe, but a less bold man would have fared far worse.
I had heard the rumors, but I thought them just fancies of bored women. Until I saw them dragging people through the streets today. Our own citizens! Is the world going mad? While exploring a cave with hopes of finding hidden treasure, I came upon a most grisly sight. A heap of dead bodies. Unbelievably, as I was searching them for any items of value, they began to rise. I must tell them of this in New Tristram before it's too late. Unholy creatures can rest now.
Not enough hatred. Old Tristram. The other's evil still lingers here. I need more hatred to do that. I need more hatred to do that. Some devious little goblins have been robbing our merchants. When pursued, they simply open portals and disappear with the most aggravating chuckle. The peasantry seem to believe that the goblins serve a great demon lord known as Greed. <laughs> and furthermore, that their portals lead to Greed's domain. Uh, a ludicrous notion, truly. I've got some got a right good bunch of things for you this fine day. Thank you for your help, but could you talk some sense into Leah? She won't give up on the idea of rescuing her uncle. Nor should she. I will help her find him.
come. Let us search for your uncle. We'll need to open the cathedral first. The guards locked it up before they were ambushed. Rumford told me they fought their way back to Adria's hut. The key must still be there. Here, let me open the gate. Adria was my mother, but I don't know much about her. She died when I was very young. I was raised by Uncle Decker. What of your father? I'm told he was a great warrior who was lost when Tristram fell to the demons. Secrets. People said she was a witch, but I never believed it. Captain Dalton! My hatred is too low. Here's the key, and my mother's journal. What I've seen of it is disturbing. I want to know more about her, but that can wait. We need to save Uncle Deckard first. I will go. Stay here and learn what you can. Thank you. You didn't come to me last night. I suspected what was lurking within his troubled heart. I consoled him as best I could. Regardless, wherever he's headed, hell will surely follow in his wake. The shadows close in on Tristram once again, but like Aiden, I'll be gone before they fall. So many dead. Infamous Tristram Cathedral. I am close to the Fallen Star now.
So this is where the star fell. My quarry must be near. Lachdanon, and I'm cursed. Once the captain of King the Oryx army, I left only to honor my land and my king. No man has a greater love for his king than I had for mine, even as I drove my blade through his dark and corrupted heart. Hatred is too low.
not enough hatred. It is too low. Oh, millions! Stay back! Back! May this wet moon! The Skeleton King? The power of the Fallen Star awakened me! And soon, all will suffer as I have suffered! Gods, bring me his bones!
Thank you, but why did you risk yourself for me? Leah asked for my aid. She will be relieved to see you again. Oh, it is wonderful to hear that Leah is well. I fear the worst. I learned of this secret passage through old maps I found. We must discuss the fallen star. Follow me to Tristram. I worked my hands to the bone to bring you these fine goods. I've dug up some new things for you to take. Uncle, you're alive! Thanks to you, and your friend here. I have but one request of you. What do you know of the Fallen Star? Not much, I'm afraid. Though the prophecy of the end days surely points to it as a sign that the end has begun. Please, Uncle. Not more of your stories. All that matters now is that you're back. The Skeleton King was once our beloved lord, Leoric. He was driven mad by Diablo's evil. He lost both of his sons and his very soul before he was finally defeated. Now it seems he's risen to plague this land once again. A tragic story, but I cannot reach the Fallen Star until I face him. The key to defeating him lies in his old crown. Seek out our blacksmith, Hadrig. He knows of its whereabouts. Leah, you should not dismiss the sign so lightly. Do you not believe the evidence? Yes, yes, I... Don't touch anything unless you're buying it. I like to keep my inventory clean. Leah spent all night alongside the blacksmith's wife, tending the wounded. What? She was out defending the gates this morning. Did you hear? Old Rumford has us down to half rations. Hey, look, I'm happy to sell to you, but you got to promise not to tell anyone where you got these goods from, okay? Blacksmith, Deckard Kane said you could help me find the crown of Leoric. Not now. That's my wife. She's locked in the cellar like all those who've been bitten. I'm to put them all down. But how can I kill my own wife? Sometimes death is the only mercy we have left. I will help you. Thank you. Follow me. It is too low. Mira, my love, forgive me. Ah, Hedrick, help me. I couldn't 
wouldn't have done this without you. I'm in your debt. My name is Hedrig Eamon. There is one favor I must ask of you. Do you know where Leoric's crown is? I can help you there. It's buried with his chancellor, my grandfather. You'll find his tomb in a cemetery in the Weeping Hollow. And if you see my fool apprentice out there, tell him to get back to town. There's a big pack coming this time. Stand your ground! That's the last of them. The bridge is clear. It is too low. Who disturbed this grave? ground welcomes the foul bodies of these cruel men. They sought to prolong their lives through forbidden magic at great and cruel cost to others. Their evil fed on itself until it consumed them all, and they found themselves at the end of a hangman's rope. Strength is my hatred is too low.
The tragedies in these lands have left many restless spirits in their wake, and they demand retribution. These spirits will take out their vengeance on any unsuspecting individual who may pass, for they believe that the blood of the living will yet restore the lives that were ripped away from them. 